Hi, this is Javier Encinas. This is a quick overview of ASDIP Foundation, our software for uh, uh, structural design of footings. Let's open ASDIP Foundation. This is the project manager when you can create your calculations quickly. You can uh, specify your settings, units, etc. And uh, you can save or open your, your files. Let's create a calculation for a spread footing. Just assign a name, any name, add it. So it's added to the tree at the, uh, at the right. Just double click. And this is the calculation for spread footings. Uh, the user interface is very efficient and has been designed to model your structure the easiest way. It consists of controls such as text boxes, uh, uh, labels, radio boxes, uh, check boxes, uh, buttons, etc. So it's very effective, very easy to use. Uh, the typical calculation window is composed of the menu bar at the top. Immediately below is the toolbar. Here you can have access to the main commands of the program. Below is the working area. It consists of two tab panes. The left pane is uh, designed for, for the input data. The right pane is for the results, uh, the calculations. Uh, the input is uh, designed to uh, model your structure quickly and uh, without any issues. The geometry, for example, is uh, designed to enter all the information regarding the dimensions of your footing or your column. Here you can set, you know, this, the, the size in this case is 12 by 8 feet, 16 inches thick footing, the soil cover and the water table. And the columns, you also can specify the column size here and, and um, if it's offset from, from the center of the footing. In the loads tab, you can specify a single predefined load here, which is either factor and, and service loads. In, uh, for example, in, if you have the reactions for another program that you're using in your analysis, and uh, you know those reactions are already combined you can just enter the information here because they are already combined if you are specifying the load cases you can also do that and as deep internally will combine the, the load cases you can enter all the all these loads the actual load and moments in both directions and shears Materials. In the materials tab, you specify the properties of the concrete and the reinforcing steel, also the bearing pressure. This is regarding the footing and regarding the column. You specify the concrete and the, uh, and the reinforcing steel as well. In the reinforcement tab, there are a lot of controls to quickly specify uh, the rebars in, in, in both directions. Uh, in, including the soil, uh, the concrete cover, in, uh, bar sizes, number of number of rebars in both direction, etc. For both the footing and the column itself, so you can specify all the dimensions, all the sizes, everything. You are in control of the of the input. In the right pane, you can see in the, the first tab is at a glance. You can see in in one screen the most important information of the program. Of the results, just you know, you, for example, in, here you can see that the the, the maximum bearing pressure is is over the allowable pressure, so it doesn't pass in this particular area the soil pressure. So you know exactly where where to go and where where to check immediately. If you want more more detail, you go to the next tab, just a condense, which is the, the same type of information but with more 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 information available. You know, in this case, you have the overturning and the resisting forces, uh, the you know the the resultant uh, location and the, the safety factors. Uh, one way shear, sliding, punching shear, uplift, the transfer of the loads to between the column and the and the footing, and a flexure design. So in this case, you have more and more information available, not. You know, not not so simple, no, 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 not as in Aragon that is just the most important results. Here you have more information available, but if you if you want even more information, you go to the next next tab, detail. 
Here you have uh, all the results uh, with the formulas exposed and with references to to the to the code. For example, here reference to the code to the ACI and all the formulas exposed. So everything is uh, handy and uh, exposed. You can check step by step of the calculations. Graphically, the program shows the bearing pressures. You can see that the program is, uh, uh, you know, is able to uh, to find the, the pressures even if it's a partial bearing, which is a very very difficult to to find uh, uh, numbers and pressures. In this case, the program is able to do that uh, in one way shear. Same thing. You can, you know, the program finds the shear in each side of the uh, the controlling section uh, in both in both directions of the of the footing punching shear the program checks also the punching shear around the column in flexure the program finds the moments generated as a result of the bearing pressure acting upward on the footing at the at the, uh, the, the, at the at the controlling section which is uh, at the face of the column in both directions and uh, the program shows uh, the resulting bending moments the column, the program also generates the interaction diagram for the column, and finally the construction. Here you have a sketch of uh, the resulting design, including uh, uh, the rebars and uh, all the basic information that you may give to your uh, CAD person and uh, include it in your, in your, in your drawings. Uh, reports, you can see, uh, for example, a detailed report you have a, a, a preview of that page one and page two page three you see that is is pre-formatted but you can print it out and include it in your set of calculations you can see all of them together just like that and you can print out all all, all, all this uh, yeah so this is the spread footing let's go back and uh, start a strap footing now which is the second uh, module included in in, in nasdip foundation uh, strap footing you let's assign a name for the calculation any name uh, the name is added automatically to the tree double click this is a calculation sheet for a uh, strap footing which consists of two footings uh, attached uh, to a common uh, beam which is a strap beam that's why the system is called a strap footing again the uh, environment is, uh, is similar to uh, to uh, previously described so it's uh, familiar already uh, in the geometry tab you can specify here all the dimensions of the footings uh, exterior footings which is this one here or interior footing which is that one usually this system is used when uh, you are close by the uh, property line so that the footing cannot be concentric or the, the uh, concentric with the column and uh, it's necessary to use the beam to uh, to avoid uh, tilting or overturning of this exterior uh, footing uh, so here you can specify all the dimensions for the footings for the strap beam as well width and height and for the two columns you know sizes and and, and if it's offset and, and all the dimensions that is uh, required in the program in the loads tab similar to the previous module you can specify either a pre-combined set of loading which is the one factor and, and, and service these loads actual moments and shear or you can specify a set of nominal uh, load cases and the program internally combines them according to according to the combinations which is a, a ASCE 7 either 10 or 0, 05 so everything is uh, is uh, handy uh, in the next tab materials similar to the previous program you can specify here the material properties for the concrete for this reinforcing steel for for the soil and uh, the same applies for the strap beam concrete and uh, rebars and for the columns similar the reinforcement again you can specify here all the rebars for both footings and for your uh, strap beam 
with this uh, set of controls which had, had, had been designed carefully to make it uh, simple and uh, handy uh, all this uh, input data. Uh, in the right side, again, in, in, in the at a glance tab, you have uh, uh, in one screen all the most important results. In this example, everything passes, so the design is okay. If you need more information, you go to the condensed tab, which is similar uh, results, but with more information, more information uh, available. So you can follow in more, in more detail what, what happened, combinations and and so on for both uh, interior and exterior column, exterior and interior footings. Everything is included here. If you need even more information, go to the detail tab, which is all the design, but with the formulas exposed and with references to the to the code. So you can go step by step, checking everything closely and uh, you can follow completely, you can follow uh, all the calculations step by step. Everything is exposed, everything is, is open, everything is given. Graphically, you can see the bearing, bearing uh, pressures uh, as a result of the system. In the diagrams, you can, you can uh, see the shear diagram generated by the program the shear diagram. This is why the system is called also cantilever footing because uh, you know this portion of the of the system, the shear is almost zero or zero. Uh, so that that's why it's also called cantilever, which is a similar similar diagram. Uh, the bending moment and the columns uh, also. The program generates the interaction diagrams for both columns, the interior and the exterior. And the construction uh, tab, you can see the sketches with the reinforcement and uh, dimensions, and all required to include it in your in your calculation or in your in your drawings. Uh, the report, let's see the detailed report very quickly. Again, the program generates uh, a pre-formatted uh, report, which is all, all all these pages, so you can print it out or uh, save it or save it uh, as a PDF and uh, just export it and uh, send it to your checker or uh, whoever is in interested on, on, your, on your design. So this is a strap footing. Let's go quickly to the third kind of footing that is included, which is a combined footing. Double click. And this is a calculation sheet for a combined footing which is similar to the strap, but it's, it's a combined footing without, without a beam. This kind of footing is, uh, is uh, common when the, you know, when the two columns are close and, uh, it, you know, two, two spread footings would overlap, would be too close. So it's probably easier just to combine them in one common footing. The same uh, in the geometry, you specify all the dimensions for the footing, you know, it could be, uh, trapeze like, like 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 this could be rectangular so the program is uh, very versatile so, so you can you can uh, change here all the dimensions for your footing for your columns as well in the loads similar you can specify a pre-combine or a nominal set of uh, load cases dead live etc and you specify the loads in your in, in your, pro, in, your uh, in your footing in in, in material you specify the Sorry, you specify the concrete and uh, the reinforcing the steel properties for your footing and for your column. And uh, in the reinforcement, similar with all these uh, carefully designed uh, controls, you can quickly, easily specify the rebars at the top, at the bottom uh, uh, for, your, for your footing, for your, for your columns. Everything can be handy. Uh, handy uh, quickly done uh, in their in their uh, calculations again in uh, in one screen you can see if everything passes not everything passes in this example the interior footing pressure is is overstressed and also here is failing in uh, the reverse so the reinforcement is not is not good enough so the, uh, the transverse flexure is is failing so you you know exactly where to pay attention and and, and what to correct in a condensed 
same thing. The calculations are shown with more information uh, available, so you can uh, follow them and uh, uh, you know in more detailing. If you need more information, go to detail. And again, the, the, the calculations are shown step by step, formulas exposed and reference to the code. So this is very, very uh, detailed information that you, if you want to go to the granular detail, you can do it here. You can go and, uh, and check every single step of the design. In graph, graphically, you can see the varying pressures generated uh, by the program, calculated, and diagrams, the shear and the bending moment diagrams, columns, you can see the interaction diagrams over the exterior and the interior columns. And in construction tab, also, you can, you can get immediately a sketch with the rebars and dimensions and, and all that. You can uh, print it out and include it in your, in your calculations or in, in your drawings. The re, uh, let's see quickly uh, the detailed report. <coughs> It's pre-formatted again, so uh, all these pages you see are very well designed and detailed. You can print it out and uh, you can see all them together like that. Okay, um, with this we conclude the video about the uh, ASDIP Foundation. Uh, uh, thank you very much for your attention and we'll see you in the next video.